All right, it's now time for interactive. And remember, you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store. And for viewers in Jamaica, you can win a trip for two to the Champions League final, courtesy of Just a Bet and Sportsmax. Make a bet of 1,500 Jamaican dollars or more on any UCL game up to April 28, and you could be a lucky winner. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our interactive segment and former West Indies media officer Nasira Mohammed had this to say on X after Haley Matthews, the second century, as the Windies beat Pakistan in the three-match ODI series. This is what she said. Honestly, Haley will be the goat of Windies cricket, and that's women's cricket. I'm excited to see how the rest of her career unfolds. Well, <laughs> I have to agree, Lance. I have to agree because Haley has been, I mean, I've said this to you off air. Haley is a complete player and um, from my interactions with her, a complete person, a great leader. I've always had um, interactions whenever, you know, they come to Trinidad for like the CPL and all these different things. And I feel like she is a true leader in the sense of the term leader. She leads by example and we can see that with her performances. And as Nasira said in that tweet, Lance, I can't wait to see how her career unfolds because because she's been at the forefront for so long, um, at such a young age she started, and she has been dominating from a young age, it's easy to forget what her age is. So she still has time, and I think, you know, we're just getting started where she's concerned. Yeah, but remember she was a star performer as a teenager on yes. the World Cup winning team. And, um, played a huge role in, in the West Indies. That's why it's easy to think that she's older. Yeah, but as I said earlier on the show, she's just 26 years old and she's at the top of her game at the moment and plays with a lot of confidence and a lot of maturity. And she keeps getting better every year. 2023 <laughs> was a colossal year for her. And, um, I, you know, I mean, it, it, it's reasonable to expect that she'll still play international cricket for another nine or ten years given yes. her age. And I agree with Nasira that you know, you, you have to be just embracing what is out there for her and the, the type of quality she has. And um, she could reasonably expect to be the GOAT as far as West Indies women's cricket is concerned because she has the talent to do it and she has time on her hands and uh, she's, she's awesome. What I love about her too is she comes out so calm and cool, does what she has to do and then moves on. I think that, that's stellar. You know, no set of emotion lands, just the fact that she means business. Well, we have now some reactions to the Windies A squad being announced. What do we have here? We have this one from Tyrell O'Dane. He's from Trinidad and Tobago. Chase is captain and Atene is vice captain. So he's asking the question there, Lance. Some of these selections have me very puzzled. It's so good to see Fabian Allen back in the reckoning after a long while in the wilderness. Other than that, I'm confused in how Johnson Charles and Andrew Fletcher keeps getting selected. We have this one from Nepal's Rhino Army. Stronger squad than expected. Gonna be the cracker of a series. Nepal, do you think we were sending a weak squad? Jay Kumar, after seeing some names, I'm absolutely thrilled for this exciting series. This will be a fun. This will be fun to watch, and hopefully our boys will learn a lot from it. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the criticism of the Johnson Charles selection because Johnson Charles has been, you know, showing showing good form internationally in in recent series. So I I think he needs some time in the middle to get himself ready because I think he will go to the World Cup. Johnson Charles, I I put it to Fazir as well about Andre Fletcher. I'm not sure if he will he will make the cut, but I would be a little bit more surprised about Fletcher's selection than Johnson Charles. I, I quite think Johnson Charles is a deserved <laughs> selection, and uh, uh, there's there's nothing wrong with him being in this setup. Yeah, I like the names, and I'm looking forward to see how we suit up against Nepal. Well, viewers, that's a wrap from us for today. But of course, be sure to tune in tomorrow because we'll have another edition off the Sportsmax zone. Have a beautiful evening. See you tomorrow.